In this video, we will practice writing linear equations or exponential equations to model situations. We are told when a new charter school opened in 2010, there were 990 students enrolled. Write an equation representing the number of students n attending this charter school t years after 2010, assuming that the population first increases by 20 students every four years, and then second increases by 11% every four years. When the change is expressed as a constant amount per unit of time, we use a linear equation to model the situation. When the change is expressed as a constant percentage per unit of time, we use an exponential equation to model the situation. So for part A, because the population increases by the constant amount of 20 students every four years, we model this using a linear equation. Let's use a linear equation in the form of y equals b plus mx. where b is the vertical intercept, but is also the initial or starting value, which in our case would be 990, the starting student population, and m is the slope, which is the constant rate of change, which in our case is an increase of 20 students every four years, which means m is equal to positive 20 students per four years, if we leave the units off and simplify, notice 20 divided by four is equal to five. In our equation, we use a slope or constant rate of change of five, which means the equation of n in terms of t is n equals 990 plus five times t, where t is the number of years after 2010. For part b, because the population increases by 11% every four years, we use an exponential equation, and because it's an increase, we use the exponential growth form of the exponential formula, which is y equals a times the quantity one plus r raised to the power of x. a is the initial population of 990, and r is the percent of growth, which is 11%, expressed as a decimal, which is 0 0.11. When writing the equation though, we have to be careful because this is 11% every four years, not 11% every year. So our equation is going to be n equals 990 times the quantity one plus 0 0.11. And now the exponent is not going to be t because if it was t, we would have an increase of 11% every year, but the increase is 11% every four years. So when t is four, the exponent has to be one to have an increase of 11% one time, and therefore the exponent has to be t divided by four, not just t. Notice when t is four, the exponent is one, we would have an increase of 11% just one time. So simplifying the equation is n equals 990 times 1.11 raised to the power of t divided by four. Let's take a look at three more examples. For part C, the population decreases by 7% every three years. Because we have a constant percent of change per unit of time, we have an exponential equation, and because we have a decrease, we use the exponential decay formula shown here. So for part C, we have the equation in the form of y equals a times the quantity one minus r raised to the power of x. A, the initial population is still 990, r, the percent of decrease is 7% as a decimal, which is 0 0.07. So our equation is going to be n equals 990 times the quantity one minus 0 0.07. And now again, the exponent is not just going to be t, it would be t if we had a decrease of 7% every year, but it's every three years. So when t is three, the exponent has to be one to have a decrease of 7% one time and therefore the exponent is t divided by three. So our equation is n equals 990 times one minus 0 0.07, which is 0 0.93, raised to the power of t divided by three. For part d, we're told the population decreases by the constant amount of 76 students every semester, which would be every half a year, meaning it decreases by 76 students twice a year. So we use a linear equation in the form y equals b plus mx. 
where the initial population B is 990, and the constant rate of change M, because it decreases by 76 students every semester or every half a year, M is negative 76 students per half a year to express a rate in the form of per one year per year, we have to clear the one half from the denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by two. And negative 76 times two is negative 152 students. And one half times two is one, giving us per one year. Which means in the equation, we use a slope of negative 152. So the equation is N equals 990 minus 152T. Again, this should make sense because if the population decreases by 76 students every half a year, then it decreases by twice this amount per year, which means it decreases by 152 students per year. So we have N equals 990 minus 152T. And then finally for part E, the population increases by 25% every quarter, which means four times per year. So because we have a percent of increase per unit of time, we use the exponential growth formula, which is y equals a times the quantity one plus r raised to the power of x, where a is 990, the initial population. r, the percent of growth, is 25%, which is a decimal is 0.25. And now writing the equation, we have to be careful because it's not 25% per year, it's 25% per quarter, or 25% four times a year. So we have N equals 990 times the quantity one plus 0 0.25. Now again, if the exponent is T, we'd have an increase of 25% per year, but the increase is 25% every quarter, or four times per year, and therefore the exponent has to be four T. Notice when T is one, or one year, the population increases by 25% four times because the exponent is four, which is correct. So the equation is N equals 990 times 1.25 raised to the power of 4T. I hope you found this helpful.